what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so we literally just put the boat in over here at blacks bridge ain't even gonna crank the motor up so the idea for today's video i'm gonna fire this live scope up we're gonna check these bridge pillars and we're gonna catch a slab try to walk y'all through how i'm using live scope i mean i still got a lot to learn with it but let's go catch one <clears throat> and guys if you haven't already hit that subscribe button it means a lot for me and my family and we're going to teach you how to catch a crappie, teach you how to catch a bass. We're just going to teach you all kinds of stuff on this channel, so stay tuned for it. But I'm going to fire this live scope up, and we're going to see if we can find us a slab. All right, so we're, we're still, I mean, I literally just put my rod together. Now I'll try to look right here. This is the number one pillar from the bridge. We're going to scan around. I mean, it don't take much. <laughs> Lasco is just a, a unreal piece of technology. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm using today. So this right here is my, at the moment, go-to live scope setup. So, hang on. I'm stuck on a trolling motor. <laughs> Way to start a video, Steven. All right, we got it. So what I got here on the bottom, I got a 132 ounce jig head with a little minnow with a pearl top and a green body crappy man green body and up here what i've got going on is i've got a, sl a slip bobber on top and bottom of this 116 out bass weight or worm weight and that's honestly just so i can find the jig on the live scope a lot easier and i try to keep it about you know a good foot or so above my jig and now the power behind all this is this old 13 foot ACC crappy stick. It's uh, the GS13. So I'm all up on the pillar right now, but I'm literally, I'm gonna crank my trolling motor speed down to two so I don't spook these fish. I'm gonna take me a swallow of a monster. Yeah, I mean, I'm not cutting the camera off right now. The camera's got about 35% battery because I forgot to charge it. But, so every fish I'm seeing right now is about eight foot. Now what I do before I even drop it in, I'm gonna find my jig on the screen and I'm gonna stop it. Ah, my, my dang thing messed up. <laughs> it went to down view. I had a freaking fish follow it too. All right, let me fix that real quick. Which ain't really an issue. We're just gonna pop this bad boy up. We're gonna go all the way down with it. See if it changes back. If it don't, I'm gonna have to do one click on my transducer, which I believe I'm gonna have to do. So we'll loosen this up real quick. I mean, it's a quick process. Yeah, I'm about to click my transducer one time, just like that. It should go back to normal. There we go. Now we back to forward view. All right. Like I was saying, I'm gonna drop my jig down. I'm gonna make sure we're at the right depth. We got one. We got two of them chasing it right now. Oh, that's a big one right there too. Two big ones, right up under the boat. I ain't even got to move the boat. I was going to find the depth and then pan around and catch them, but got two two nice ones right there. All right, I'm going to drop it down on this guy right here. A couple nice ones down there. Come on, buddy. Like there's there's a some some pretty good ones right there. If I can get it to bite. There he is. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he got off. Oh my God, rookie freaking mistake, Steven. Oh Lord. <laughs> what I, all what I just did. Literally just got here. I'm all wrapped up. Man, I'm, I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'll be right back. All right, I had to retie pretty much freaking everything. I'm gonna tighten my drag up on this little B&M reel. I believe that was my downfall that time. Cause I stuck him good, but I had to wind up to him and by the time I got it done, so I'm not, I'm not even gonna try to use the trolling motor. I'm gonna push off like this and then I'm gonna circle around. I'm gonna I got the trolling motor on two, so. But yeah, y'all at Black's Bridge and y'all see my sinker up there on that rope. Y'all know I was here. <laughs> Got 26% battery life on this GoPro. We'll see if we can get just one real quick. All right, so we're gonna turn around right here. I'm gonna shine the scope over there. Let's drop it on down in there. There on that pillar. I'm eventually, guys, I'm gonna have active cat down and everything so y'all can see this a lot better. But for now, I'm just gonna try to walk y'all through it. So at the moment, trying to find my jig i believe i'm a little bit too deep so we're gonna crank this thing up it's like to me that's one of the hardest parts about live scope is finding your jig efficiently i know a lot of people are good at that already but I've only had it for three weeks now. Definitely not good at finding my jig. But once I do, I can normally catch them. If that makes sense. There's some pretty good ones in here. But I gotta find my jig to make sure I'm at the right depth. All right, I see my jig now. down some so we should be pretty good on the depth now there he is right there freaking nice one too Get my net. come here buddy there we go <laughs> don't even got to crank the motor up guys That's, that's a good one, about 11 inch. -er. All right. Put him in the live wheel. Let's get it on back out there. Fix my jig. I just throw it out there. It don't bother me. <laughs> I swear another one just had it. I ain't even get to pick the rod up yet. All right, let's flip that on out there. And I'm watching it go down. Him. Mm -hmm. 
that's all I'm doing today, man. I'm just I'm gonna catch a couple of these, show y'all how I work it. I guess I could I could talk about my settings real quick. I like to keep my gain at about 84. I've got my range at 55. I mean, that's probably not right. I could bring that down some, but I like to keep my gain between 78 and 885. And that's just mostly just from inexperience of finding my jig. I mean, if you're good at finding your jig, you probably don't need to do that. And then, cause I mean, I could turn this down probably. Let's see, it's plus this. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to see that. I just want to see this pillar right here. Most of the smaller fish, it seems like, are up above, and then the bigger fish are hanging out. All about finding that daggum jig, though. I'm telling y'all, if I was good at finding the jig, it'd be home. All right, I see it go down right there. Know where my jig's at now. I mean, honestly, casting of these may be better. I don't know. Most of the fish are off of this thing right here. That's a daggum big one right there. They ain't no two pounders in this group, I don't believe, but it's a real nice fish. So many, I, I cannot find my dang jig, guys. Y'all got any tips for finding your jig? I mean, I'm at 80, 80 something gain. And it's so hard for me to find this thing moving around. But when I do, I can put it in their face, but I don't know. Inexperience is all I know. Freaking heat honk right here, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at that fish. That's a good 12, 13 inches. He freaking wanted it too. I don't know, he might be bigger than that. I'm about to check him out. Got a little measuring board on the back of my box, let's see. Eh, he's 12, so I mean, good pounder. Pound and, pound and a half probably. Nothing wrong with that. So what I'm doing, I mean, I'm literally creeping up on these fish, on these bridge pillars. I'm trying to target the ones out here because I'm not good at that yet, but I'm creeping up on these bridge pillars. I'm just dead sticking it in the middle of whatever school I'm finding. Trying to check the battery percentage. I got another battery with me, but it's not fully charged either. So th this right here, I mean, that's all fish, and every one of them is about the same size I just caught. So I'm gonna drop it in right there. I mean, I'm literally just getting right there in the middle of them and dead sticking my rod. There he is. Another, another giant. Just, well, not giant, but nice one. getting that fish slime today. Another nice eater. I 
But if we can stay away from this bridge pillar, we shouldn't run them out as much as I would normally. Just gonna toss it back in there. Try not, try to make as less noise as I can. Yeah, they're not ran out yet. So it shouldn't take long to get another bite. I see, I can see my jigs all the way back here. I need to be five foot up. So with this 13 foot pole, I can cut that in half and just ease on up in there. We're almost there. And that should get us there right there. And that's a good one that's looking at it right now. We're gonna back up already. Oh, I think he had it. Damn it. Yeah, he did. I didn't feel him bite. And that, that was probably the biggest one of the day so far. I'm gonna drop back in on him. Sometimes you can get him to bite again. You aggravate him enough. Two of them looking at it. Show y'all what's going on. See that, that thing that's going up and down? I'm right on that big, big bright one. He just ran away. So I'm gonna drop it on down on this other big one. See if he wants it. Too keen on it. Let's see here. way off I didn't know it we're gonna make another drop so let's see there there's about 13 foot I'm just gonna drop it up there let it pendulum back I mean we pretty much already know we're at the right depth just about getting it in that little school right there holding it in there till one of these bad boys want to bite I don't know what that big blob is right there y'all see that don't know but I want to hook it <laughs> I don't know where he went oh he's, he's in the middle of the crappy ain't nowhere near my jig though Big old fat blob. All right, we're gonna outreach the pole. Right up in here on them. Uh, I think I just had a bite. Uh, I, I probably hit the, the bridge piling, honestly. This dang rod's so sensitive. But we may have to go to the next bridge pillar to finish out this little video for y'all I'll probably turn it on as soon as I get over there so I can get a good never mind there he is gosh almighty oh my god oh my god guys holy shit sorry for the language oh my god this may be a freaking I don't, I don't know how big he is if I lose this fish, I'm gonna cry. 
Ooh, yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Oh my god. Wait till y'all see this fish. My freaking hook is hung in the net right now. This net's supposed to be supposed to be unhookless. Oh my god. I think this is the biggest crappie of the year. I don't think it's a three pounder, but it is a freaking stud. Check that crappie out, guys. Oh my god. That's a two pounder all day. Gotta give it a hee honk, hee honk. Oh, we dropping him, we spilling my monster, no. <laughs> oh, well that's how you end a video guys. This is how I approach these bridge pylons with live scope so far. It, I mean, it works. I mean, it don't get no better than that. Jesus Christ, what a freaking swamp donkey. But yeah, guys, if y'all want to catch some more crappy like this, make sure y'all hit that red button down below. It's completely free to subscribe, and you'll know exactly when I post so I can show y'all how to catch some freaking stud crappies.